there's money in the cash <laughs> register. <laughs> We're going to start spreading this around, waving it, throwing it up in the air. <laughs> this is your money. Watch me lose your money. We are Black Belt School. We are motivated. We are dedicated. We are aggressive. We are best. Loose. When you're going and just blasting through a move, you're using the largest groups of muscles in your body to do that. But it's actually the muscles that make your body look more de defined and toned are those smaller muscles that control these fine motor movements. That's why you want to drill this. You got 10 seconds, guys. You can do anything in the world for 10 seconds. Let's do it. Come on. Because we do the right thing, we have people do the right thing by us. I'll give you guys a, an example really quick. So who knows who Parker Maxwell is? Okay, Parker Maxwell's mom came back up. I happened to be at the desk, and she's like, hey. Jennifer, I've got a question for you. And I said, yes, ma'am. She goes, Parker got these nunchucks. I was like, oh, yeah, that's really, really cool. And she's like, we're supposed to have two for master's training, right? I was like, yes, ma'am, you're supposed to have two. And she goes, but we got three. So I don't, we don't need this other one, do we? I said, no, ma'am. And she goes, well, here you guys go. We, you know, y'all just take care of that. I know that was probably a mistake. That was a $50 pair of nunchucks because these were like high deluxe level nunchucks. There was three that ended up in his bag, but he only needed two. Like, we're doing the right thing by people, so they're doing the right thing back by us. So let's just continue doing the right thing. So you're going to set up the belly shots, the, the body shots. you got to think about how you're going to set it up, though. It was awesome. Um, yeah. They were, they didn't want to leave, and then the ones that were like ready to leave it was because they were exhausted, <laughs> and their parents were like, thank you. <laughs> All right, so round of applause for this, guys, for the agreement. Awesome. I'm going to give a shout out to someone that's not here, but Miss Lexi. Um, she was on the road to improvement last week in a lot of different tasks and areas, yeah. and I also have to give her a shout out because she went dumpster diving. And um, last shout out is also to Miss Cameron. Um, she wanted to make sure that like she saw a problem she was like we've got to fix it we've got to fix it now um and she identified it with me as far as like the intros and training and things like that and squirrely i'm actually going to steal one of mr siegler's oh no has. in our conversations the other day he said that mr frankie knocked out like a whole bunch of boxes that came in last week and i know he had moved some tasks around and so he could get everything done. So just shout out for being real diligent to get all of that stuff. It's like 40 something orders, right, yeah. Mr. Frankie, yeah. today? Uh, chuck some inside, outside to your legs. Legs and hips. You go here and just do this. Doing your chuck same time, this helps break down a lot of moves because then you alternate. So you go same time, same way. Then you go alternate. sure that we connect the dots. Everybody say connect the dots. Connect the dots. If you are trying to solve a puzzle, like the connect the dots puzzle, did y'all ever do those? Yeah? Mr. D'Angelo, Mr. Brandon, connect Miss Corley is a connect the dots. When you can start connecting some dots together, you're like, yeah, I'm starting to make a full picture, right? You could have this most complicated picture and then all of a sudden when you connect one dot to the other dot, it starts coming into focus a little bit more, right? And when we start seeing this and we start seeing those pieces come together, eventually you have this really cool drawing. Sometimes it's because we have so many other dots in the picture that we forget to connect them. And because we forget to connect them, we think things aren't working, but they are. 
And we also get so frustrated by the things that aren't working, that are broken, or that are confusing, or that are missing, that we go, well, nothing's working. But really, there are things that are working. Hey guys, we have been working diligently this morning to um, really just help our team members understand how to connect the dots between what one part of the SKC team body is doing to the other part of the SKC team body. And that's really uh, helps bridge some gaps in communication. Um, so working hard on that, trying to figure out some things that just aren't working quite as smoothly as the, they should be. And at the same time, providing the team members here with the ability to look back at some of the new systems we put in place and remember what those new systems are. So a lot of that this morning, um, Every time we, uh, you know, move one layer, we find another layer, something else that we need to work on, and that's just the the game of business right there is doing that. So we're gonna get back at it here in a little bit. Stay tuned for more awesome scenes from the vlog. Cool. And then we have Miss Erica. <laughs> She's trying. Gotta look forward. You can't watch. can't see where you're going. <laughs> yes. Watch your camera. Trying to be a little sneaky. <laughs> no paparazzi. No paparazzi. <laughs> Pull your hands to your face, to your chin. Two, on the bobbin weave, I overhand, so I'm bobbing and weaving. Three, I start my next weave and I slide. Four, I throw my hook. One, two, three, four, so this is a four step move. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so we've been working on a couple different things. I just had an uh, art meeting with Miss Janet a little bit ago. So she's jamming away on some art and sharing and collaborating with you on um, the promo video, which I thought was really, really cool. Um, we got Hanel's face in there at least twice in the karate bot in the suit up night. And, um, and so we've been working on that and that's really important to showcase what we are trying to do for the future. We've got two different events coming up. We've got a fall break camp, which is our karate bot camp, and then we have suit up night, which uh, that was really cool because you came up with the idea. Why did you come up with the idea for suit up night? Like, how did? Oh, because here always say that one. What time to suit up? Yeah, suit up. Suit up. Yeah. And actually, we watch a lot of Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the why. Yeah. Okay. It's like a flash. Yeah. So we typically have some kind of like superhero night. So I was like, hey, we're doing superhero night again, but I don't want to call it superhero night and I wanted to be something different. And so I asked her um, for some ideas. So she has some creative ideas and that was one of them. So I really enjoy that one and the artwork's super cool. I told her it was like one of my most favorite posters she's done so far. Yeah, so pretty cool. Second kick! Hey! Hey! There we go, Miss Kelly. Just keep that balance down. That was awesome, though. You got all the way around. All right. That was scary, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. Another thing. Hey! 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 guys. So we are just jamming away right now. We've got lots of team members coming in, out of the offices. Everybody's busy. Everybody's working on different things. Um, and so this is just a lot of on the spot, uh, being able to just get everybody in position to be the most effective. So we just took, you know, a little bit of a slow Tuesday and we just turned it into a dramatically fast, we're getting in gear kind of Tuesday. So this is the stuff that gets me energized and excited is we have so many different people attacking different things. So it's going to be a great Tuesday. I can feel it. Everybody's just getting into it. Miss Kayla, are you getting into it? Yes, ma'am. All right, look at that. Awesome. So I'll catch you guys a little later. What you look for if you look for positive things you're gonna find positive things if you look for negative things you're gonna always find the negative things our motivations for things 
are always going to define themselves when we're left to choose for ourselves. Because what do we choose? Our default. Can you change your default? Yes, but it takes intentionality. Two. the little details that equal the big results. So it's not always about making these big, huge, giant moves, especially at the advanced level. It's the little details, the fine details, that will equal big changes in success. And then it's about doing it so many times that it doesn't seem like a change. It just seems part of your natural behavior. That's what we're working on today. Classes are just getting going for the day. Uh, I did a lot of class schedule, kind of moving things around, rethinking some things for the fall class schedule. So I did that earlier with Mr. Seeler and Ms. Corley. And now I'm wrapping up some loose ends um, before I do training tonight, which will be I'm not doing super hard training now. We're kind of backing off a little bit, still working the cardio, but no more hard sparring. So I'm glad because the bruises on my feet. Are you trying to like cozy up? Is that what's going on? Trying to get yeah, easier to see. Yeah. He's He's like, his mask. High five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> Jordy got on the mat, he's like, no, and he rolled off the mat. Everybody excited? Yes, you yeah. All right. Let's get bowed out and then we'll get to those classes next week. Ready? So draw. Courtesy. Bow. Respect. Ready bow. Loose. That, my friends, is a wrap to the Thursday instructor class. <laughs> Y'all in fun over here. <laughs> Hi, Beckett. Beckett. Hi. I can't chance. I can't chance.